Welcome back everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. It's Steve and today is Green Smoothie Day. We're going to make a very basic green smoothie with only two ingredients or three if you count water. We're going to have bananas and we are going to have the world's most popular herb, parsley. That's right, parsley is the world's most popular herb and has been around for a couple thousands of years and in Greek in old Greece, they held this herb as sacred, and they used to decorate their athletes, uh, their victorious athletes, with parsley. Not only that, but they used to decorate tombstones and, and burial sites with parsley. So parsley has been around for a while. You all know and have heard parsley. I know parsley from, uh, used to be on the side of a plate of food, like what I used to call real food, and then parsley was like in the way. Like, get that away from my steak. I want a steak. Now, parsley's real food to me, and that other stuff is not even food anymore. So, let's make this. So, uh, there's a lot of benefits to both bananas and parsley, and one of the things uh, people say all the time is, well, fruits and vegetables, they don't mix very good. Why are you gonna mix fruits and vegetables? And Victoria Butenko, I got to learn, uh, she's the green smoothie queen and has the book Green for Life. She said that there's two different classes of vegetables. There's starchy vegetables and starch-less vegetables. And starch-less vegetables would be things like green leaves. So she has found that mixing fruit and green leaves together did fine. And I have been experiencing this now for a couple of years and have felt great. I love my green smoothies. I like to have one every day. They are absolutely delicious, easy, fun, and so satisfying. And let's get this going right now. Bananas. Now, the thing about bananas, too, if you, if you look at these bananas here, these bananas are ripe now. And I think they could be even a little more ripe, like one more day. We want these brown spots. I used to think that bananas were like this, like this was ripe. We want them nice and yellow. If they're real yellow, that's good. And if they have brown spots, well, we throw them away or maybe make banana bread out of them. Not anymore. I know now that brown spots is what we want. And so, with that in mind, bananas are one of the few foods that increase in energy as it ages. And it goes from a starch, which we don't want, to a sugar, which we do want. So let's get our bananas on. I peel them the regular way. I have heard, though, that gorillas peel them the opposite way. They don't use, I'll show you in one second. Let's try this together. I'm gonna do this right now. They peel it from this end, and it just peels so much easier. Actually, that was pretty easy. <laughs> let's try it again. Okay. the old way, whatever way, just get your bananas on. I love bananas. Bananas are a staple in, my, in what I eat in a day. I almost said the word diet, but diet has the word die in it. Diet's always about restriction, counting calories, nutritional facts, what do they say? I'm about lifestyle and it's about abundance and as much as we want. I can eat anywhere from six to 12 bananas a day. And when I was more athletic, I was doing more bananas, like up to 20, 30. One time I did 40 bananas in one day just to see if I could do it. And uh, it was actually a really good day and it felt really good. So I do get my bananas on, but I don't get as crazy about bananas as I used to. I like to eat other fruits for sure. And, uh, but I love bananas, they're year round um, uh, available and they're also uh, one of the least expensive for calories, if not the least expensive for calories. And then I'm going to chop off uh, some of the leaves here for the parsley. Look at these parsley. Look at all this parsley. First of all, I'm getting more than just this parsley. Why? How, is I, how am I getting more than what I'm putting in? Because the blender is going to chew it up for me. And it's going to break the cellulose fiber wall of the plant where all the nutrition is stored. So I'm going to get more out of this because of the blender. The other alternative is for me to chew, like maybe five hours a day like a gorilla. <laughs> you know, most of us don't chew our food. I know I don't. And so, um, 
the blender chews it up for me. We're going to add spring water here. I'm going to put about 16 ounces of spring water. That was about four bananas. Big chunk of uh, parsley, big overflowing handful, and spring water. And let's get this party started. Wee-haw! stuff that feels really good and I was really excited about it but it felt good for about five or ten minutes and then there was nap time <laughs> no more nap time for me it's all about pure energy and here we go bananas and parsley so yum so green so delicious mm. do you like my new orchid I love orchids I love nature. I love beauty. All of it. Cheers. I am chewing my smoothie and really enjoying it while I chew it. Wow. So there's so many benefits to parsley and bananas. I'm only going to name a few here. Bananas are really good for B6, and, uh, and also there's folic acid as well. There's also folic acid in parsley, and folic acid is really good for cardiovascular health. Uh, it's also good for dividing the cells. See, here's what happens. We're, we're about 100 trillion cells, right? We're born this way, and all our cells are pretty much in alignment. We were, you know, when we're born, we're pretty much in alignment. And then as we start to toxify ourselves, our cells start to clump together. And then nutrition can't come into the cells. It can't feed the cells because they're clumped here and there. And um, folic acid will divide and separate those cells like we were meant to be. So now nutrition can come in from every side and, and we can start to absorb more. So I, I really like this. Bananas are known for their potassium. Athletes use it worldwide and it's a great recovery food for athletics. Uh, potassium is really good at relaxing the muscles. It's a great electrolyte, and uh, bananas are awesome. They come in their own package. They're, every time you can just bring in, they're a great travel food. And um, you can have bananas, you can have five, 10 bananas in one meal. And some people might say, and I would say this too, oh, I, I could see one banana, maybe two if I'm really hungry, but five or ten bananas, but if you think about it, five or ten bananas is 500 or a thousand calories, which a lot of us will eat anyway uh, for a breakfast. It's easy, 500 calories. Have five bananas instead. Have your green smoothie on. Um, the fiber in the greens uh, not only has soluble fiber, but insoluble fiber. And fiber uh, soluble fiber is really good at whatever you eat, taking it out with you. Insoluble fiber is very good at what you eat and taking it out with you and grabbing other things that have been there for who knows how long and taking them out. So get your greens on. I believe strongly in green smoothies. They're going to help your elimination for you to become more regular. I can't tell you how awesome it is to be regular. I always thought that it was normal to go once a day, and there are people sometimes who go once every few days. I've even heard more than once a week. I mean, this is like uh, longer than once a week. That is insane. I don't know how people are living like that, but um, I didn't know how awesome it was until I got this awesome. So I'm regular, at least three, four times a day, easy, and it's just so simple. It's, there's no waiting. It's... Uh, there's a, a comic strip saying that if you eat a standard American diet, you can like read a whole book 
on you know, on the toilet. If you are in a uh, if you're eating uh, mostly like a raw diet, you can read like a magazine. And if you're having green smoothies, you don't even have time to read anything. You're just in and out. So. Uh, this is the way we were designed to be. This is what animals do. You don't see animals sitting there for 10 minutes trying to go poo. And, but humans do this and it's considered normal. So let's get back to nature. Let's get back to the way we were designed. Let's get out what we are not so we could let in more and more of the goodness. And uh, it's so important. I love green smoothies. Every day I do a green smoothie. Every day I'll do a green juice. Then I'll have a bunch of fruit. I do lots of fruit through the day, and then I'll have a big salad at night. And that is what I eat in a typical day, and it is raw ridiculous. Mm. Mm. Wow, and I love the parsley flavor with the banana. It's such a good marriage. I love those two together. And it just takes it to the next level. So until next time, I hope all of you go to next level and make that decision to say yes to you by having more fruits and vegetables and saying no to dropping equipment on the floor while in the middle of a video. Pure energy, y'all. Until the next time, you're awesome and I love you. Woo!